We mentioned a few minutes ago, a court hearing a month from now is aimed at trying to determine whether same-sex marriage should be allowed in the state of Montana. There are some who say if it is allowed, it would have a positive economic boost. Color 8's Dustin Askham joins us now live to explain why. Greg, same-sex marriage is now legal in Idaho and Wyoming. And because those rulings set a precedent, the courthouse behind me could soon issue marriage licenses to same-sex couples. A November 20th hearing in Great Falls could determine whether Montana's same-sex marriage ban is constitutional. Months ago, four gay couples filed a lawsuit challenging Montana's same-sex marriage ban. Federal Judge Brian Morris will hear arguments on the case and either make a summary judgment or decide the case needs a trial. UCLA's Williams Institute says Montana would have a $3 million economy boost the first year if same-sex marriage is legalized, and they estimate nearly 700 couples would wed in that time. Jennifer Mercer at the nonprofit Billings Depot says local businesses would benefit. We're owned by the community. We're here to serve everyone. So we're very happy that this has become an option and we'd love to be able to help out couples. We know it's obviously going to be a great thing for the, a lot of our community as well as all the vendors that get to work with them for weddings. Mercer says the depot hosts more than 100 weddings every year. Montana Department of Justice spokesman John Barnes says Attorney General Tim Fox will fight to uphold the ban as it's his job to defend state law regardless of what that law is. The Williams Institute study also says that out-of-state guests coming to Montana for weddings would spend over a million dollars the first three years if the ban is lifted. Live at the Yellowstone County Courthouse, Dustin Askim, Color 8 News.